part two. You're gonna see part one. And part two, one was ugly, folks. Uh, tight, tight rifles in the safe. I haven't shot this thing in like, what, four or five months? Yeah, I'm sure it got bumped around. Might even had it off. Sometimes I take stuff off and readjust, put a new mount on, you know, for the red dot, which I probably did. Anywho, did really good in the, in the part two. Now I'm gonna put the Mauser in. The Mauser was off too. Now, it looks like it's just got bumped pretty hard to the right. So I assume might have hit, dropped it against something. And that will be um, readjusted later, okay? I bore sighted it, the Mauser, not this one. And it was definitely off, okay, with the bore sight. So it definitely has to be moved over. It was shooting way to the left, you're gonna see in the video. I'll probably put that on the end of this video just to show you. And I was Kentucky Wind Engine trying to hit the plate. So that was part one in the end. So you got part one, part two, which is this, and then we'll put part one with the Mauser in the end. It's all about video, folks. Keeping you entertained. All right, good culture guy, at it again. Now, where's the second try? We're having all issues with scope. Having a lot of issues with these scope mounts. I think I, I don't know if I changed this or what, but it was definitely way off. We got 420 now. A little bit of breeze coming this way. But uh, here we are again. Side charger. Um, we're gonna see how this does with the uh, just 62 grain. Try to just zero it in, folks. So, if it can't zero it in, I can take the mount off and reshim it. It's only a four ounce, uh, it's my cheaper scope. Um, it's only 12 times. And hard to see out here my target and if I can find it 12 times is very lack lacking so maybe in the future I get a bigger one <laughs> at least a 16 yeah no I needed a 16 for everything I'm used to 16s I can barely see the hits out here probably with this 12 so, there's my complaint of the day, folks. Always a complaint. We're gonna see where we're hitting. We have a couple mils over. I'm sure it's gonna be off. Low and to the right. So, we're still low. Crank that up about, I don't know, five, six clicks. Let's go two, three clicks to the left. That's you know what I should be doing. Oh, I'm gonna lose my brass because it's flying. So brass deflector time, folks. We want to click our brass. Looks like it's to the right a little bit, still ain't it? But we got our height down. Let's go two, just two clicks to the left. That could have been me pulling. There you go. Just one click to the left, maybe. Uh, to the right. One click to the left. I think we got a hit. I see some movement. A little low. A little bit to the right, that was me. There you go, I, 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 I'm aiming a little bit to the left. Yep. I did not see that one. I think my brass deflector came over the uh, lens at that time. Uh, a little low, maybe to the left. Right there, I think that's it. That is it, folks. All right. Uh, I don't even know if my brass deflector was working because I should, oh there they are. I'm seeing them all around me, that's right. Okay. Well I'm seeing a good hit there. Look at that. When was that one? Oh wow, and it exited right through the top. That was right in front of the plate. And uh, 
course, it wouldn't have done much damage here when it hit. Ran out of gas, so could be there. I don't know. It does look like something fresh there. So, might, might not. Dino fell down. So other than that, is that a hit? Yeah, that's a hit. Okay. We got either two plate hits or that one right through. I don't know. We'll have to look at that film. That could have fell down and it could have had a second shot there. That definitely uh, hit right there. Okay. Other than that, we're probably right around it. Gun culture guy at it again. All right. Mauser, 1915. We got new ammo. And the new ammo will be um, 190. Now, uh, I got some, what, first one to be 178, but it'll be 190 after that. Now, put that to the side. See, we got a twofer, don't we? Now we have the uh, no wind. Taiwanese upper. It's called a wolf upper. Okay, this is kind of my short range weapon. It's only a 12, uh, I think 12 times. So we just got basic 12 times scope on there. And it's 550 yards. This has got a side charger. Kind of cool. So it was uh, adapted. Somebody milled that out and actually put that on the side. This lower is a Savage lower. So Savage lower. Shoots pretty good. Even though it's my short range weapon. Uh, mill spec. Uh, barrel from uh, Taiwan. All right, here we go. It's gonna be a distance, all right. I hope I got this uh, scope sighted in because some of these scopes may not be sighted in. I and I don't know where I hit. I couldn't hit that high. All right, that's a rarity. I gotta fail it to extract. Look at that. I don't think I've ever had that happen before with this thing. Hmm. Probably. That is weird. Huh. Fail to extract. It's all dented up. I cannot see with that recoil there. I do not see the hits. Safety. And we're going to go ahead and put that to the side, folks. Get out the big one. Because that was not adjusted. Hmm. All right, with the Mauser.